That looks fun. How many, how frequently is it that we would have a solar eclipse? Pete? It's not, it's not very often, certainly, right? especially to get a total solar eclipse like we're going to see here in central and northern New York. Good advice there from Mike. We'll make sure to have that on our website so you can get that information in case you want to do the do it yourself shoebox thing or that information about those glasses. Anyway, let's get to it. We have a lot to talk about. Here are the top three things I'm watching. First off, we have that February field today and we still have that for tonight and through Tuesday morning. Yes, we do have a burst of snow on the way, which I'm going to get to, but we do have some break in the action here, some midweek 40s coming our way, but then we turn colder for next Saturday. False Service Experts Live Triple Doppler Radar. It's been snowing pretty hard up here across Jefferson County. Earlier, this band was in Lafargeville, giving some very heavy snow, but right now around Dexter, Watertown, Carthage, Natural Bridge, and Lowellville. As I zoom out, I did mention a burst of snow. Look what's happening right here. See this band of snow right there? It's a combination of lake effect and a cold front coming through, and this is going to hook up with this band of snow and cause a burst of snow north and east first, and then the potential for some of this to move into central New York. So hour by hour at 8 o'clock, there's the cold front, the snow burst near Lafargeville again. And watch this. In just a couple of hours, it's moving right across the Route 3149 throughway corridors. So roughly around 10 p.m., I'm expecting a burst of snow region-wide. Now, this could happen earlier or a little later, but you get the idea. Sometime mid-evening to midnight, this is going to push through. As it pushes through, it will get a little bit weaker the further south you go, especially south of Route 20. That doesn't mean you're not going to get any snow, but you're going to get less. For Monday, it's a quieter day, but it's cold with clouds, flurries, and a little bit of sun. So how much snow are we going to get with this burst of snow? I think many spots across central and northern New York should receive a quick coating, half inch, to an inch or two with that burst of snow. But since it'll be snowing more often up north in these two areas, two to six inches of snow for the Tug Hill and northern Adirondacks, and even six inches or more for the Redfield area, I wouldn't be surprised as that band of snow is moving through this evening somewhere, there might be more than two inches. I've got it painted near the Route 31 corridor, perhaps three or four inches in a few spots. You get the idea. Be aware, okay, between mid-evening and midnight, while it doesn't seem like a lot of snow, when it happens in a quick half hour to an hour, not only will the visibility drop, but could cause some rough driving conditions. Other than flurries and intervals of sun, the high 27 tomorrow is a quiet day. A cold start Tuesday morning, but it's sunny and quiet, 38. Mixed sun and clouds Wednesday, milder. It'll stay mild with clouds and showers Thursday and turning colder for early in the weekend next weekend. You're up to date with the forecast, so let's go back inside.